So a lot of times people will ask me, you know, what is a fiduciary? What makes a fiduciary different? Well, the fiduciary word is just, it's just a fancy legal term that talks about when you're searching out a financial advisor or a financial planner, it's the thing that most blogs or websites tell you you should probably look for. I often joke with clients that fiduciary is the only F word that I let my children say because I want them to know and understand it. Fiduciary means that one person, in our case, a financial advisor, is working on behalf of another person, you, our client, putting your interest ahead of our own with the duty to preserve good faith and trust. Not only are we ethically bound to work in your best interest, but the law requires that we're legally bound to work in their best interests as well too. So very simply stated, a fiduciary is somebody that's legally obligated to put the interests of someone else ahead of their own. Clients will ask, why did Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers establish themselves as a fiduciary as opposed to organizing ourselves in less stringent broker-dealer suitability world? Three main reasons come to mind. The first of which, fiduciary-based advisors are genuinely independent. Now, as the company's chief investment officer, I'm primarily responsible for helping set and lead our investment direction. I want it to be totally free of conflicts of interest that exists with so many investment companies today. As fiduciary-based advisors, we're not tied to any particular family of mutual funds or products. Therefore, we build what we believe are the best investments from many different fund families based on quantifiable and qualitative data that helps inform our decisions. Commissions, revenue sharing, proprietary products, selling our own funds, that never enters the thought process because as a fiduciary-based advisor, we don't and are not allowed to take part in those. Second, a fiduciary-based advisor is ethically motivated as we are required to always act in our client's best interest at all times. This isn't to say that non-fiduciary advisors are not ethically motivated. I'm not saying that at all. Many non-fiduciary advisors have the heart of a teacher and there are many fiduciary advisors I'm sure you'd never want to work with. However, as our firm that's built on the teachings of Jesus Christ and one that operates from a biblical worldview, shouldn't we be following the Lord's teachings when he said in Matthew 7, so whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. The golden rule, it's, it's as simple as that. Thirdly, fiduciary-based advisors are deeply trusted. Now, I don't just say that because we are a fiduciary advisor. According to Charles Schwab, which proudly supports more independent financial advisors than anyone else, these advisors hold over five trillion, and that's trillion with a T, of their clients' wealth under this prudent level of management. Many of the independent advisory firms are owned by the individual advisors that run them, which is the case with Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers. So a deep, personal relationship is formed between client and advisor. Our relationship with Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers stemmed from my husband's 30-year career in banking. There he met, through their private bank, a young advisor who impressed him with his work ethic, his determination, and his desire to learn all that he could. When the advisor transitioned to the team at Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers, it was with complete confidence that we asked him to continue managing our financial planning, our investment management needs. Because Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers were held to the fiduciary standard we knew they were going to put our family interests first at all times. Soon after that, my husband became ill, and for many years, the team at Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers, they helped us through medical situations and led us in the right direction each and every time. I was so comfortable with the approach the team at Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers took that in 2017, I joined them as a part-time, as a client relations manager, helping to service our accounts for our advisors. I'm still here six years later and have no plans to leave anytime soon because I absolutely love being surrounded by each and every one of my coworkers. I get to work not out of a need, but simply because I love being surrounded by the team. They wanted to operate as a fiduciary based advisors. Unfortunately, I lost my husband in 2021, but Jim went in peace knowing that financially I was fine and will be throughout the rest of my life thanks to this team's guidance throughout the years. If I could sum up Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers and the team here in five words, they are faith, family, finances, fiduciary, and fun. And we excel at each and every one of them. The fiduciary standard for investment advisors was established as part of the Investment Advisors Act of 1940. 
This act explicitly defines what a fiduciary means and stipulates the duty of loyalty and care that the advisor must have for their client. Go back even further, many fiduciary standards are built upon an 1830 court ruling establishing the prudent person standard of care. The fiduciary standard of care was not only established for investment advisors, but also pertains to relationships between a trustee and the beneficiaries of a trust, between corporate board members and the shareholders of the company they represent, lawyers and clients share this relationship, and guardians who are appointed legal guardianship of a child are tasked with this standard. Now, fiduciary advisors have a fee structure that is transparent and simple. We charge based on the percent of the assets managed, and the percent only goes down the more you have. Therefore, you're making us more efficient as you grow as a client. This type of fee structure, we believe, is essential because it aligns the advisor's and the client's interests, giving the advisor and their team an incentive to grow your assets over time. Your success as a client becomes the advisor's success and this truly puts us on the same team, the same side of the ledger, exactly what you would want as a client. To safeguard assets against theft or malfeasance, independent fiduciary advisors use independent custodians such as Charles Schwab, Fidelity, Pershing, Betterment, and TD Ameritrade to name a few. This provides the client with a reassuring system of checks and balances. The advisors holding your funds are different from the team giving your advice on investing it. This approach allows the client to have a name brand of a large custodian with a local personalized feel of a truly independent advisor. We think combining the aspects of our recommendation from Dave Ramsey and Ramsey Solutions along with the status as a registered investment advisory firm held to the fiduciary standard is a combination that shows our clients we genuinely care about their well-being from the aspects of Simple things like paying off debt, getting on a budget, so you're free of the bondage of payments to the bank, to ensuring your retirement plan is blended with the best of your employer-sponsored plans, 401ks, Roth IRAs, non-retirement, bridge accounts, as Dave Ramsey calls them. Not many SmartVestor pros hold both the recommendation from Dave and his team and the fiduciary standard. So we think this is a combination that really shows our interest in providing a client-first centric model.